anyways okay so i'm sick just don't mind my voice i sound like a, a 30 year old man right now but it's cool so first of all i just want to say hello what's up what's been going on it's been really crazy a really crazy couple of months moving to tennessee has been a great experience as well as a strenuous experience but it's been it's been well so this this little video here is just you know not gonna be super deep not gonna be super long but it's just a life update that's it I'm just gonna give you guys an update on my life what's been going on what am I doing next everything so obviously so a lot of people have been asking me and like asking me oh where'd you move why did you move there what's been going on so I'm here to address it all I moved to Tennessee because I applied to get into the University of Tennessee at Knoxville and if you guys know like that's a really popular school in Knoxville and if you know football NCAA if they're like um, the, vo the volunteers so yeah I moved here to go to school unfortunately I did not get in so <laughs> I didn't get in but it's okay so I still in you know people are like well, why did you still move there I'm like well I moved here because I had literally like made provisions, I did all this stuff to move, so I decided, hey, it's gonna be cool to just be in a new place for a little bit. So I'm here. Here, it's been really cool to just obviously see a whole new world, like a whole, oh, a whole new side of the world, a whole new atmosphere, like breathing different type of air. Like I'm 40 minutes away from the mountains, so it's been a really, really great experience, and I encourage creatives especially like anyone really but creatives really are close to my heart now because I get what we go through and like a lot of times when you're crowded around with people and obligations and you know things you really don't have a chance to get out your creative side so moving here has been really great for me because it's allowed me to look into myself like as Janessa uh, like an artist per se I don't really consider myself an artist but as someone who's a creative and to really pull out all the things that I've been keeping dormant because I have been so involved with work I've been so in I had been previously so involved with church but now it's just I have me time and I'm able to create so I encourage I adjure anyone who's out there if you get a chance to move away or to have like about two months by yourself I I would definitely um, encourage it secondly months I've been um, not so much ignoring people but just keeping my line of communication very very tight only talking to my close family and my close friends that's it so I'm sorry if you got a message or if you messaged me and I didn't message you back it wasn't because I was ignoring you or that I didn't want to talk but these these last couple months have literally just been me time so I do apologize and I will get back to everyone who messaged me especially you Jamari because I really want to talk to you so um yeah so what am i doing okay loom jtv well <sighs> loom jtv is an extension of the luminosity journal and you guys know about two to three years ago i started the luminosity journal which is basically a platform a talk show if you will where i interviewed um excuse me i interviewed multiple artists and influential people in my area as well as georgia um about what they do how they got there and why they did it now someone asked me yesterday what was my main purpose of all this basically it's to give a platform because a lot of times artists and um people who are up there they don't have a platform just to be themselves because they're so indelved with being an artist they're so indelved with you know producing music or producing videos or producing uh, movies and songs and all this stuff that no one's really asking them about them so that's literally what loom jtv is or the extent expansion of loom jtv is becoming so um coming up i have a whole bunch of interviews that i'm going to be doing he changes again is that better a whole bunch of interviews that I'm going to be doing um, and they're gonna be they're gonna be pretty influential and I have some very very um, influential people coming on board with me so it's a it's gonna be a huge process but it's something that I really thoroughly enjoy doing so um, these next couple months are going to be packed and you're gonna be seeing a lot of postings but um, it's all gonna be for a good cause and also another um, reason why I do this too is because it spreads the gospel of Christ like it's just a different avenue of spreading the gospel of Christ because I'm not sitting in a pulpit preaching. I'm not, you know, on the streets teaching people about God, but I can do that through my means of Loom JTV. So everyone that I interview 
it's all gonna lead back to God. Everyone that I come in contact with, it's all gonna lead back to God. And so it's for the promotion of people. It's for the, um, literally, the, the word illuminate or luminosity means to bring light to. So that's the whole reason why I do this. It's just to bring light to people. It's just to put a spotlight on people who don't, um, not, not necessarily who don't normally get spotlight, but people who are so involved in work that you really don't see a lot of them. Um, so let's see. I don't know if I can say her name yet. Uh, I'm not gonna say any names. You'll you'll see. But it's someone. She's a recording artist. You never see her on the scene. All you see her doing is probably producing songs, producing CDs, and that's it. And she she's a, she's a youth pastor at her church. But you guys are trying to figure out who I'm talking about. You'll see in a couple months. It's it's gonna be great. Um. So yeah, it's really just. It's just an avenue to really get into people's heads because I enjoy talking. I enjoy, I'm a great communicator as my friend Javier would say. So I enjoy talking and, you know, just getting into people's heads and figuring out why they are the way they are and what caused them to, you know, produce this great movie or what caused them to produce this, I don't know, CD that sold uh, a million albums. So yeah, that, that's why family came into town. <laughs> that's probably why I'm sick because we were in the mountains and you know the air is thinner up there so my family was in town and they were here for about three days and it was amazing like I don't think I've ever been on a family vacation with my family um but it was awesome like we went to Gatlinburg we went to the mountains we did like this um this it's like a roller coaster ride but it's in the mountains like it's called the mountain coaster so it's and it's by yourself and you have this car and it goes like 25 miles per hour and it's like zoom, 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 zoom. it's it's a lot of fun so yeah um let me see what else i can tell you guys i've been doing oh i got a new apartment praise god yeah so i moved into my apartment um just honestly everything that i've been doing has been a faith move and that's something else i wanted to talk to you guys about um you gotta just have faith like me moving from florida was probably the best decision i've ever made in my entire life because it literally made me depend on myself and god mostly god <laughs> literally um so i have an apartment uh, my bills have been getting paid like everything's been great and it's literally because god is in control and i know that's so cliche but i think um we as christians should really put ourselves in situations to where god is the only one that can catch us because yeah i mean i have great friends that were supported that are supporting me and that you know may send me like 30 dollars here or something like that but this whole thing is ran by god like i didn't have any money to move into this apartment my friends didn't do it my mom she didn't do it i don't have a rich aunt to call don't know who my dad is so god did it and i'm here and i'm not worried about anything so this is just i just want to encourage you guys like be god driven don't worry about what this person's gonna say what that person's gonna say oh i don't want to start my business because i only have 500 dollars in my account okay girl you know what you can do with 500 dollars like that's a lot of money and you know i really think that we should just get past the 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 point in our heads that tells us that we can't do it because i don't have enough resources or i don't have enough people supporting me or i only have 800 followers on instagram but no if is you make moves god will make moves with you literally this whole entire move was a god move like i came down to tennessee on a thousand dollars that's not a lot of money came down on a thousand dollars and can i just say that i haven't ran out yet like I've never went hungry. My bills have been continuously paid. Um, I, I got an apartment, like, I don't, you know, it's just, you just gotta move in faith. Um, so I just wanna encourage you guys, like, if you're wanting to move, move. If you're wanting to start a business, start a business. If you're wanting to create a expensive phone, like, I don't really know where that came from, but do it. I'm just saying, like, we put so many limitations on ourselves um, it's like it's a little scary so many limitations on ourselves and what we can do and usually it's because we're in a box but you have to take yourself outside of the box if taking yourself outside of the box means moving away do it if it means you know 
shutting one business down and starting another one, do it. Because I just did that. I just closed the DJ Productions and I opened, well, I started, you know, putting more time and energy into Loom J TV. So, ah, that feels good to get out. So yeah, that's really it. And I really appreciate you guys for everything. And I'm gonna ask you to do two things. First thing first, pray for me. Keep me in your prayers. I know I'm doing all this stuff and it may look like, you know, oh, I'm, I'm doing well, but I still need prayers because the prayers of the righteous avail as much and I know that. Second thing, follow me on social media. If you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me. It's at LoomJTV. Follow me on Twitter, at LoomJTV. Follow me on Facebook. Please keep in contact with me. If you want to send me messages, all that stuff. I got a new number, by the way. So if you guys need that, let me know. Um, I'm, all, I'm out of my little cocoon stage, so I'm free to talk. So thank you guys so much for listening. And I'm probably going to go grocery shopping because I need some groceries. I need some cough medicine. Um, and yeah.